Welcome everybody, Abner here, bringing you some more gameplay footage. Today I wanted to go through, and it's actually not today, I just wanted to start going through and doing kind of like a series with just a couple of these different heroes. And so today I wanted to start with Marvel, or Miss Marvel. And I uh, go through kind of it's kind of like a walkthrough go try her out see you know how far I can get with her before my ADD kicks in and uh, then I'm gonna wanna change so uh, and hopefully I'll create a video on the one I get ADD with so and currently all I have is three different um, superheroes I have Miss Marvel <clears throat> um, Colossus and Storm. I apologize up front. Uh, my allergies are kicking in for some reason. So, yeah. So I may have times where I have to clear my throat. But I will mute the mic. I promise. Or at least I hope. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, like I said... I've got uh, Miss Marvel, and uh, yeah, she's just basically one of my my favorite female Marvel characters. I mean, I have several others, Rogue, you know, um, Psylocke, different characters like that, which I hope they add. Now, Rogue will be quite difficult to add, I would assume, because of how her powers are, but... Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I already grabbed the quest right here from the first person on accident. I was clicking around, going like this, like, okay, is this everything, everything working good, everything working good, and then I accidentally clicked her. So I apologize for that, but let's go ahead and get started. We are. Fury, director of Shield. I've called you here because we have a bit of a situation. As we speak, the supervillain prison known as the Raft is under attack by agents of Hydra. Several prisoners have already escaped their cells. Level seven threats, like Green Goblin, Sabretooth, Living Laser, Doctor Octopus. Some have even escaped the island. S.H.I.E.L.D. has agents on site, but we need your help. Get to the raft and do what you can. Good luck. And as you can see in that last glimpse of the superheroes, those are the five that you start off with. Now you get free. Now you don't get all five which I kind of wish they would let you, but you only get one of them for free. And then then you got to purchase some. Now, I did the $20 founder, so I got to choose one out of the uh, current list that they have up right now, which if you go to the store here, I had the ability to choose these now I will tell you they did lock them out after a while so if you didn't jump onto it you know right away then some of these were starting to get locked out like Iron Man wasn't available Hulk wasn't available um, Wolverine and a few others so I went through and I got um, Colossus now seeing Gam uh, Gambit here kinda hoping that maybe he might be one that they'll open up soon I know I seen Emma Frost uh, Squirrel Girl which I have no clue who she was I didn't follow her at all 
and there was one other and I don't remember who that is that was on the site that looked like that may be in the next push of uh, content maybe or something so we'll have to see but yeah here we go I apologize. I had to clear my throat there. All right. And if you haven't seen my podcast, um, highly recommend it. But I talk about playing this game and the... Uh, And basically, you know, my feelings on it was that I think it, this is what Diablo should have been. I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed playing Diablo 3 for <laughs> the first two times I had to go through and uh, basically play it. I think I made it to like level 50, but I just could not pull myself to keep playing the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Now, you would think that I would be conditioned to that since I played WoW for, well, since beta. Uh, I stopped playing during Cataclysm for, oh, a good almost year um, and then went back when MOP came out and don't get me wrong I enjoyed MOP but uh, it just uh, was the same thing again you know and just couldn't couldn't pull myself to keep doing it so you would think Diablo 3 I could have been able to go through and do it I just couldn't so um, I do really enjoy Torchlight. I played a ton of Torchlight 1. Played some Torchlight 2. And due to other games and stuff, I just still haven't been able to find the time to continue to play Torchlight 2. But this kind of gives me that same feeling, but more push to that MMO side. And having other people being you know, able to play with me, it's... It's nice. I, I like that functionality. So, let's go ahead and see what I picked up here. Alright, so it looks like you got me some gloves. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's awesome. So, they gave me a free token to unlock thing. Let's look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Alright, so it looks like I got some other armor here that I didn't realize I had. So, um... Oh, okay, so this is the stuff. I've been playing on Colossus a little, so it looks like my inventory carries over. Awesome. So... Let's go ahead and uh, keep going here. Whoa. Dang it. Nice. Alright, let's see. Beef her up some here. And as you can see here, she's got some okay stats. And, um, let's see, my defense, yeah, boosted up a little. You know, this is normal MMO style type setup. And then you can go through and see her bios. Man, 5 foot 11? 
And then 124 pounds. Mm, I'm just saying how she's built. She don't look like she's 124 pounds. I mean, I understand the women like to kind of lie. But, and I'm not saying she's fat or anything. I mean, she's thin. But uh, let's just say she's got some arms, she's got some legs, and she's got some other stuff that I would bid to differ that she's 124 pounds. All right. But I'm not going to tell her she'd whip my ass. I'm not going to have none of that. So. Didn't dodge that one very good. That's another thing that I, I do like about the game. Is that it does have a dodging capability. So... Looks like got me some greens. Oh, yeah. We always like ourselves some greens. Let's see what we got. Duh, Daredevil. Really? Boo. Now, a cool thing that I noticed during beta was that you can go through and you can do these areas again which is really nice so let's say you want to go and and uh, try farming green goblin you can you can go through and and farm them to get you know more gear which is cool, you know. I, I like that. I I'm okay with them giving me the option. I don't want to be forced to do it. Which you could figure out what I'm talking about there. So I don't need to beat the dead horse. So, off to our first boss fight here. cheating yeah all right level two nice 
Got me some armor. Let's see what we got here. Very good. And yeah, let's do that. Got me a belt too. That's awesome. Okay. Boosted my uh, my stats up. All right. So let's go ahead and see what we got for powers and stuff. So I got two points. That's kind of cool. Um, let's see. We could do a lunge. That's neat, too. Let's really like the um, this. But let's do this. I wouldn't want to fight me now. Confirm. Okay. Now let's let's do this too. Okay, here we go. Looks good. No new special abilities, but um, converting is going to be nice. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to make myself stronger here, so next level, I'm gonna have to probably beef up that bolt. Oh, more greens. Oh, physical damage, too. Eh, <laughs> got me another green. What is this one? Okay. More gloves. Oh, those are way better gloves. Look at that. Raging gloves. Oh. I didn't dodge that one. Oh, well. 
this is cool. You get to watch uh, Venom get created here. What would be cool is if you go through and do like a storyline to him, defeat him or something, and then he becomes unlocked for you to get. That would be neat. That's probably all four. Nice. Alright, so here we go. Here's the first quest of completing. Alright, so... I do like the detail. I mean, they did a really good job on this. Alright, here goes the boss fight with Green Goblin. Alright, so I kind of know this fight already. Throw his poison thing. Use the health pack. Dang it. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's pick up all the goodies here. Let's see what. He gave us. All right, gave me a, a new chess piece. Um, I'm gonna keep the other one. Same belt. I think I'm going to keep that on. Okay, so. Alright. There is the first major boss. I know, I'm a slacker. Sorry. I'm curious to see things, so I may do um, a video series on him as well here soon. But, I have to start off with my favorite, or one of. Psylocke is probably one of my favorite female characters. Wizard, 
What does Dr. Doom gain from their freedom? And with this, we end our transaction. This is it. This technology exploits a flaw in Tony Stark's security system. Well then, Hell Hydra. Be gone. I like this too. It, it kind of gives you this um, comic book feeling, you know. It goes through and gives you this story, which is really cool. Hey, there's a Deadpool, and then uh, Daredevil. There is a thing. So yeah, let's go ahead. And All right. So let's uh, let's come up to the basic vendor real quick. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't look like I can craft yet. Uh, that's a bummer. Okay, so right click to buy or sell. Okay. Sell off some of this stuff here and may keep that. Ooh, that's a nice one for Daredevil, but I don't own them. Keep that. I just got things, so yeah. Let's sell that. All right. So this is Avengers Tower. If you guys have not figured that out, oh look, somebody has Spider-Man. All right. Let's go ahead and jump right into the next. That's pretty cool. Agent Colson, I'm one of the good guys. All right, there's Hawkeye. It's the first time I've seen him. That's right. It's Misty Knight. Okay, okay Shocker. Time to get you back to the sun. Okay, it looks like it's all storm stuff. Oh, here we go. Oh, awesome. How much credits do I have? I say we buy that, baby. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's buy some boots too. Alright, that's cool. Holy smokes. That was some crazy shit going on there. A lot of experience, though. Wow. Oh, very nice, very nice. Got me a blue. Let's see what we got ourselves here. Sweet stuff right there. And <laughs> look at that. I picked me up some boots. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. It always does, doesn't it? You go and buy yourself a piece of gear, and then you go into the first place, dungeon or something, and ba blam! <laughs> you pick up a piece of gear that you just bought. Oh well. I should have known. That's the normal MMO style. Your luck. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and close this down for the first. This is going to be the first part of the walkthrough. I will be back with a new, or uh, continuing of Miss Marvel. So, until then, see you guys later.